Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda, and today I'm going to be doing my, like, kind of glam, darker makeup look that I have been wearing recently. I posted a picture or an Instagram story or something with this look, and a bunch of you guys were DMing me asking me for a tutorial on this look, so I figured I would come through and do that for you. If you guys are not following me on Instagram already, be sure to go and check out my feed. It is Amanda Louise YT. I am Amanda Louise YT on literally everything. And while you're joining the Insta fam, you should join my lovely little YouTube fam as well. We are at 95k. I'm so excited. It literally is so crazy to me. I can't believe this. I feel so blessed to have each and every one of you in my life. I like cannot even thank you enough for your support. So if you would like to join the YouTube fam, click that button down below. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Bear baby. I'm so happy. Yeah, so to start off, I'm going to be spraying my face with my Mario Badescu Rose Water. I absolutely love this stuff. I've gone through so many bottles of it. I just can't stop. It just it feels so nice. <laughs> Doesn't taste that great though. I'll be real with you. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Lancome Youth Activating Concentrate. I got this sent to me. You guys have requested like a whole Lancome. You guys have requested an entire Lancome. Billy, you guys have. Honey, Billy. Why do you always drink when I'm filming? Why? Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Yes, go. Yeah, walk the other way. Okay. I really, really like this stuff. You guys asked me to do an entire Lancome review video because I did have a PR package sent to me. So that will be in the works. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Dior Skin Forever Foundation. And this is in the color 20. Please ignore my pinky nail. I'm just going in with my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki Brush. For my foundation, I really, really like how this applies my foundation. I will have my link down below for you guys if you want to go and check out Sigma's brushes. They're amazing. So now I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the color Light Medium Honey. And I am going to be applying this to highlight my face. And also cover up any problem spots that I might have, which I have quite a few right now. I'm going to go ahead and blend this in. This is my like flat edge blending sponge from Sigma. Really, really, really love this. This is honestly like one of my favorite things they sent me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I love it. Now that I look like a literal ghost, I'm gonna go ahead and bake. I'm using my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder, and I'm just going to be patting it in here on the edges. I really, really like this for baking because you really get into all of the Small little areas. Please excuse Billy drinking. So I'm going to be going in with just a little bit of the translucent powder and putting it all over my face. You are kidding me right now. Hello? Are you really that thirsty? William Ray. You know what? I always want to do this and then I never do and then I regret it. So we're going to go in and do my brows next. I'm going to be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. And I'm just going to go ahead, comb through these and fill these little puppies in. What is that? What even? What are you? What are you? And this is why I've always wanted to do this part first. <laughs> so I can fix them. <laughs> Alright, well my camera overheated. Are we shocked? Because I'm not. <laughs> so I went ahead and finished and fixed my brows. I just went in and 
shaped them up with some Tarte Shape Tape. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the bronzing. I'm gonna be going in with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer and my Sigma F20 Large Powder Brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my face. I really, really like this brush. It applies the, like, powder very softly. It's not too harsh. If you guys have watched some of my other makeup videos before, I usually use this brush for my powder. But this brush makes such a difference because it's so, like, light and just, like, airy. It really just, like, lightly puts the powder on your face. I'm so nervous that this is too bright. We're gonna try there. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Forgot to set my brows. I'm just using this e.l.f. two-sided kind of gel thing. For my second bronzing step, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in the medium deep color. I use a few different bronzers because I think it creates a nice dimension on your face when you're using different shades. So, that's what we're gonna do. I'm just going to be going in with this brush. I don't even know what brand it is. My other brush literally fell in my cat's litter box. Don't ask me how, but it did. So um, that needs to be washed. So I'm just going to be going with this one. This one needs to be washed too just because it has a lot of makeup buildup in it. But I'm going to be going in and going in right where I contoured. Oh wait, I didn't contour. I was gonna explain why I didn't contour. So, the reason why I did not contour is because I was using the LA Girl like contouring concealer. However, I was having an allergic reaction to it on my face, so I stopped using it, and I really need to go and get the shape tape in a darker color to use. Doing it where I would have contoured. <laughs> Now I'm just going to be going in with this little brush here. This is a crown brush. It's a pointed crease brush. I'm just going to be using it to contour my nose a little bit. And then lastly, I'm just going to go in with my Hoola bronzer and go over this nose contour a little bit. Not the best contour I've ever done, not going to lie to you, but we're going to go with it. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Sigma F56 brush, the Accentuate Highlighter. I'm going to tap it into my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the color 10, be my highlight. And just really put it on here. I like how it can kind of put it in like a straight line. I know that might sound kind of stupid, but I really like when it's just like all kind of like, like there's your cheekbone, you know? The light hits you and it's like, BAM! Okay. We're gonna put it on my nose. I usually highlight like the sides of my nose. I don't know if that's weird, but I like the look it gives my nose. I don't know. A little bit on the bridge. Cupid's bow and the chin. Billy! I swear to God, he's never drank this much. Billy, are you really that thirsty, honey? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, guys, so now on to the eyeshadow look. I'm gonna try to talk really loud so I can talk over Billy drinking. He literally just like side-eyed me like. Yeah, I'm talking about you. So I'm going to be going in with my Urban Decay Naked Palette. I tried this out with my Jaclyn Hill Palette using similar colors. I didn't love the outcome as much. I don't know what it was about it that I didn't love as much because I love my Jaclyn Hill Palette. I guess the colors are kind of just like 
Hers are maybe like warmer tones and these are cooler tones. So let's try it out. William Ray. Oh my Lord. Billy, please stop drinking. Do it for mom. That is not the brush that I'm looking for. Where's my brush? Oh, it's in here. I'm playing a trick on myself. Okie dokie, love bugs. So, Billy Ray! Oh my god, he's not even scared of me because I'm like not scary. Like I'm screaming right now and he literally is not flinching. He's like, I'm not scared of you. You would never touch me. Okay, so I'm gonna be going in with Naked in my crease right here on my Sigma Diffused Crease Brush, the E36 brush looks like so stop focusing on me sigma e38 diffused crease brush i'm gonna scream billy and i'm just going with it in the crease did i show you the color naked i can't remember really just blending this color out Next, I'm going to be going in with Buck, literally in the exact same spot. I just went in with Naked, with the same brush. I'm trying to concentrate it more in this outer corner right here, and then I'm blending it up. So it's kind of like a cut crease, but like not, if you feel. <laughs> now I'm just going in with my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush and just blending out so there's no harsh lines. The other brush did a pretty good job of making sure there weren't, but you know, just in case. Depending on how I'm feeling, I put a little bit of sidecar on. I don't know how I'm feeling today. I guess we'll come back to that. We'll see. We'll see. Never tried this kind of brush for going like underneath my eye with eyeshadow. But we're gonna find out right now what I think about it. What is going on right here? There's nothing there in person, but there's something there on the camera. It's also a little harsh. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go in with naked. Okay. Okay, I might not be minding this brush. Okay, and now I'm going to be going in with Buck again and just blending this under my eye. My camera overheated again. Time to get a new camera? Possibly. So while I just finished up here, I took some creep on that same brush and went under my eye just like in the very outer parts with it to darken it up. Then I went in, curled my lashes and threw on some of this Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. I absolutely love this. This is probably one of my favorite mascaras of all time. Now this eye look is already pretty dark, but I am going to just completely do what I have been doing. So I am going to throw on some of my Elme eyeliner. This is just black crayon eyeliner. I've said before about the fog that gets in my contacts. A lot of you have related to me, thought I was the only one, but if you guys have that problem where you get like a like fog on your contacts and you can't see when you put eyeliner on, definitely give this Alme one a try. I have never had that issue with it and I've literally tried so many. Billy just yawned and it was really cute. Now you're laying down. No, stay there. Stay. Oh my god, I talked and now he's coming. <laughs> so I'm applying this all the way in my waterline into my inner corner and the same on my tight line. <sighs> I'm angry. So I've been wearing these lashes and I will definitely try to find the number of them. I knew he was gonna come over here and drink water. Who called it? Belly, go back to bed. I'm using these Arison lashes. These 
I'm like really angry that I threw away the packaging. Because these are some of my favorite ones I've ever tried from them. I really, really, really love them. So I will try to find the number and I'll put it down below or on the screen here if I can find them. Seriously, guys, check Arison out. I love them so much. Like, ugh, we just have this great relationship. I love them. Seriously, like, I just, I, I'm not getting paid to say any of this. Like, I literally just genuinely love them. They're such good, like, quality thick lashes like like everyday use I would say maybe is a little much depending well I mean like if you're like me and you wear lashes every day it's just like normal but I'd say if you're like a new eyelash wearer these are more of like a going out dressing up type thing but I mean you do you boo like no one's telling you what to do so and I'm using the house of lashes lash adhesive we're gonna let these puppies dry i have had so many of you ask me to do a video about how i put on my lashes but like i'll leave the full clip in here of me like putting on my lashes i feel like there's nothing for me to like tell you or show you like i know that sounds so stupid but like i don't know how to teach you to do it it literally just takes so much practice i know that's not what you want to hear but i've literally been wearing these for over five years so, like, every day for f over five years. So, basically, I wait for the glue to start looking. I hope you can see. Like this, it kind of starts changing colors. I'll show you on the second lash what it looks like before that. Because I should have done that. But, I just wait till it looks like that color it starts getting tacky. I like to place it kind of on my inner corner first and then drag the tail out it's most important that the end like the outer corner is uh, like meets up with your outer corner um the inner part is least important by the way these are already cut um because i worn them before and i kind of literally just keep like playing around with them until they look like they're in the right spot. I also have this little tweezer thing. You can use regular tweezers. This just comes with Ardell lashes. And I just pinch them um, onto my real lashes kind of like really close to the base but you don't want to like rip them off you just have to like very carefully put them on there and i keep checking the top to make sure that the top band is flush sometimes this happens it's so annoying in the little inner corner you probably saw me like pull them off because they get stuck like on top of your real lashes and then it doesn't go down all the way to be completely honest, I'm just not in the mood to fix it right now, <laughs> but usually I would. Where'd the other lash go? Oh, it's over here. Where's my lash glue? This is what the lash glue looks like beforehand. It's like white and thick. And I'll show you again after. Oh my God, there's a spider crawling. Oh my God. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. This is gonna be the second spider I've ever killed in my life. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't even know if I killed it, but it fell, which actually scares me more. <laughs> Hopefully it's dead. I don't know where it went. Okay, so now that I probably messed up my lash because I like threw it down somewhere. This is more what it's going to look like when you want to start sticking it down. Again, I'm kind of lining it up in the corner. It kind of just like holds on to it almost. Today's not a good lash day just because 
Um, I don't know why. They're not cooperating, but it's like my like real lashes. They're like in the way. They're like, no, 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 me. <laughs> I'm just going to go in and put some more of the Benefit Roller Lash. Just like a little bit on my lower lashes. And just a very light coat on my regular, like my real lashes. To try and get them to fit in with the lashes. Okie doke, my camera overheated yet again. I'm not giving it any time, that's probably why. As you can see on this eye, my lashes are being a little wonky in the corner. Rude. So, little hack I have. It's not really a hack, it doesn't work that great, but it's what I do when they won't cooperate. It's not even that they're not sticking, it's just that it's stuck up higher. And picking that little piece up and like re-gluing it down is like, it's not impossible, but like you're better off to just take the whole lash off again, which is annoying and I'm not in the mood. So I'm going to be going in with my Sigma liquid pen eyeliner. I love this liquid eyeliner. You guys know I hate liquid liner, so I really, really like this one. I am just going underneath like the lashes. And I just created like a little line, if you can see. That was a little sloppy. And it doesn't look like the lashes are lifted up above my lash line anymore. So, I'm going to do the other on this side just so it matches. And voila, you're done. That's the lazy girl hack to not fixing lashes. Next, I'm going to be going in with this lip gloss. I've told you guys about this before. It is a plumping lip gloss, so you're not if you're not into that, don't do it. But um I I really don't like I really don't like glosses in general. And I think I told you guys this one isn't super sticky before. This is the Buxom White Russian lip gloss. Like I said, I think I told you guys it wasn't sticky before. I I don't know why I said that because it is. Maybe I'm making up that I said that, but I have like this feeling inside of me that I said it wasn't sticky. And like, I've had stickier lip glosses, but it's still sticky. Maybe it wasn't as much when I first got it, but I've kind of had it for a while. So basically, because this is a plumping lip gloss, I feel like it gives your lips just like a nice look, um, in my opinion anyway. So I leave it on for a little while. It doesn't make like a huge change, but I feel like it does like a little bit. So I'm gonna leave this on for a few minutes. I'm not gonna go out with it looking like this. Like it's very like thick right now. What I'm gonna do afterwards is tap it off. So there's still a little bit of shine to my lips. There's not like a full thick gloss on, which is not my favorite. So we're gonna give this a little bit of time to set and I will be right back. I swear to you, every time I shut off my camera, Billy stops drinking water. And every time I turn it on, he comes back. I'm not sure if you can notice, I should have done like a, I kind of did it before, but not really. When I put this stuff on, it makes my lips more like pouty. Like I can't like close them all the way if I'm just doing it like, like naturally like holding my lips. Like that's just like naturally like how I would close my mouth. So basically I'm just going to... So they are a little bit puffier, they have a little bit of shine to them still, but like nothing crazy. That's kind of like how I get the like foundation and stuff off my lips too. I used to take this Vaseline and literally just like put it on with a q-tip, but like the way it leaves your lips against like your face, like it just like, mine looks horrifying. I like this better because I feel like it blends like the foundation, your face makeup like into your lips very well, if that makes sense. And I feel like it's like a natural, just like better look. I always forget to do this part in my video. We're not forgetting this time. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Locket setting spray. And give myself a light shower. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is going to be the finished look for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment any videos down below that you guys would like to see from me. I have so many planned. I'm so excited for them for you guys. I hope you will really, really, really like them. They're things that you guys wanted to see, so that is why I'm so excited for them. I feel like every year I try to do what you guys want, and then it just, like, ends up not happening. 
I don't know. So this summer is all about you guys. I'm so, so, so excited for it. And yeah, I hope you guys are too. So if you guys are not following me on my social media already, I am Amanda Louise YT on literally everything. Follow me and join my lovely little family. And if you guys are not subscribed already and you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that button down below or my little face right here. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.